So today would normally be uh, Battle Network, but... Uh, oh. Well, this actually has the visual steam over it. That's annoying. Um, that's set up on mine. Normally this would be uh, Battle Network time, but uh, VPRIS is busy today, and uh, want to have both of us here, so... Uh, instead... I finally have a f spot to fit Modern Horizons 3 draft again. Uh, so, that's that's our plan today. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know what this is. Yeah, that's just Explorer Constructed. I ain't touching that. We're here for drafting. Let's open... <laughs> Cozy like Ulamog Double Soul. Now, let, let, I... So, with this set, really... I know there's energy, I know there's artifacts, and I've already drafted it once. All I want to be doing is casting Eldrazi's. I want to be throwing large Eldrazi's at my opponents at all time. Unless there's some bonus sheet, like, as a commander card. There is! There is a bonus spot for the commanders. Uh, each of the pair of commanders from all four of the decks can appear in the packs. So. <laughs> you gotta know. Speaking of knowing, hello. But yeah, I just want to slam Eldrazi's at my opponent. That's my play. I, like, you know... There's, like, adapting things. There's energy things. Energy's fine. I'd, I'd be fine doing energy stuff. And maybe dogs. Well, let's see how things go. Yeah, I'm excited for... Uh, I'm excited to throw things... I'll draw at our opponent. So... Eldrazi is the gruel plan, yes, because, which, that follows with Rise of the Eldrazi. Rise, uh, in Rise, uh, Jund was where Eldrazi spawn lived, with black kind of being the worst at it, green being the best. Uh, yes, this is set is on Arena. Uh, normally this would be a type of stream that would be on MTGO, but, uh... All right, what do we got here? We got Flare of Fortitude. I don't care about this. This is uh, four mana for an Angel's Grace in Limited. That ain't... I see Spawn Gang Commander. Okay. That's a good start. Um, I see Fledgling Dragon is funny. Uh, I see one of our Secret Reaches, which this card's also, like, really good just for size. Um... This is the thing that unearths for really cheap and, like, is a, a part of a, a Purphoros. It's nifty, especially with all the token makers. I'm interested in the token making. This makes three tokens and then goes, uh, goes wild. At five mana, I think I'm okay on double red. Uh, our fixing lands are pretty neat in this set. They fix for both the colorless on things like, uh, spawn gang activation... It's like this or like the Metaler. The me uh, the Metaler, I think, is actually really strong. It's really big. But I like the Spawn Gang. I like going wide. Um, Dream Whale. Yeah. Whenever a player casts their second spell, each turn proliferate. And this thing dies after two rounds if nobody actually does the thing. Uh, it that heralds the end is also a, re is a really good direction to start. Um, Dream Tide and maybe Spawn Gang. Like, Spawn Gang in red is still fine in if we're doing, like, energy shenanigans. Um, Malevolent Rumble is a really good, like, uh, long-term, like, like, a, like a two that gets you a ramp and a, a useful card. Um, I'm not huge on this. I don't really. I think it's Herald or, like, Dream Whale. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Harold. 
Oh, of course. Well. All right, I'm going to I'm going to pick up on some of the the powerful directions we're seeing here. We're seeing green, we're seeing blue. Uh Storm Drake is pretty nifty. You get a bunch of energy and it's Gilded Drake that's kind of immune to uh some effects. Um, Serum Visionary is wild. Nightshade Dryad is like really, really good ramp. Uh, this cat's pretty good. Um, mm, our lands are... Let me go with the Drake. Let's see if we can go that direction and maybe we get, uh, like, per <laughs> who knows how much energy we actually end up with, but the cards we, like, this is going to be an interesting one because I feel like we're going to be across two sides, by the way. This is, uh, I got eaten by Hope Ender, uh, in a, in a previous game, uh, pr previous draft. This card's, like, a quite good force spike. It's a little less of a thing here because, like, Spawn Gang is a cast trigger. So, like, you can't stop that. But let's Rowl and the Implicit Maze do. Each creature and Planeswalker your opponents control. Okay, one sided Plasm. Fake draw two. Make a Spell Gorger weird. That's weird. It just makes Spell Gorger weird. The card name Spell Gorger weird. Okay. Flare of Duplication, that probably ain't it. Uh, Emissary of Soul Fire. Uh, Electrozoa. Hmm. I love this rat. Very cute. Uh, the black one's a removal spell, so it's still fine. The green one's Cultivate, their slash Kodama's Reach, so it's still fine. Um, okay, we're seeing the blue hanging out here. We're also seeing some big friends here. I'm going to try and make the blue more functional for us. I know we've got Tusker and Snapping Void Crop, but that's a little bit of a stretch right now. Not too much of a stretch. Two Cephalid Coliseums. This card's very funny to be in here. Um, I forget what the... The blue one's like Counterspell, right? Like just flat Counterspell, so... Nightshade Dryad, Siege Smash, Priest of Titania. Um, Gatekeeper works very well with... Uh, some of the token making stuff we have. I don't know how much we need. Like, again, red is, is not like super what we're doing. Yeah, we have the not alluring in here, which is very funny. We're not really going to be comboing. Strict Serenade. This is a constructed card that's pretty cool. Like, it, it, it makes a good owl. Look at that owl token. Damn, that's a good owl token. Um, Skoa Ember Mage is funny if you can get a bunch of, if you, like, if you can get, like, three or four of this, you can be in a very fun, hmm, do I want to be the person that has a million Skoa Ember Mage, or do I just want to pick up the riddle? Let's go Ember Mage. Having to shift your, your brain for a limited, yeah, like, because this is such a wild, like, world for constructed, so... I'm going to take this. This landscape's fine. It, it, it does help us out for, um... Counter... I need eight Eldrazi to die. Okay, that's a little too. I'll take... We'll take Perilous Landscape. Yep, 
Yeah, I think the main thing with that is that, like, I don't know how much you're, you're ever getting that to flip, but getting it to... Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's the Vanguard! Yo! <laughs> Zavala's here! Okay, um... Let's have some fun with this. Guardian. Yeah, okay, this makes me want to, like, shift over to a um, much more spawn-based. <laughs> Twelve is castable, right? Flare of Duplication. Amp Ramp. Yo, Amp Ramp is, like, sweet. The amp ramp, I think, is fine here. It's a little hard. Like, obviously, if we hit Emacruel, we uh, need, what, 12 energy to do that? Uh, but, like... Cyclops, Mogmob, Mogmob! Ooh, Mogmob! This is very red. I don't know how, uh... I might just be better off with, um... Superconductor. Polluted Delta, I'm not really caring about that. Triple Red is a little too harsh for me now that I'm thinking about it. I think this is sweet, but like... Uh, I'm gonna take the Nightshade Dryad and try to fit us in, like, keep us live for green, because green has a lot more of the ramp. Uh, Consuming Corruption's a cool card. I don't know why I have two rares, but we've got a... a Ripples of Undeath. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, like, pseudo Sylvan Library. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll pick this up in case, like, if, if, if there's some stuff that green. Ooh, there's a. Okay, this is funny enough that I just want it. It's either counter spell or steal the spell. Demon Fury is also like very strong. I love the art on this. Electrozoa Eltrazi Repurposer. Again, I'm going to keep green in mind and try to get the fixing to get us into it with on some things that make spawn like this. Because I want to be able to actually get our uh, Emmercruel going. I feel like things like Repurposer are necessary for that. Superconductor again. This card's cool. I like Superconductor a lot. This card's also really funny. This is a reprint you can see from... Uh, it has the, the, the visions, uh, flag there. I could pick that up with, uh, well, no, this is hex, wait, that doesn't target, right? I believe it's pick up a creature you own. I think that works. I'll take the Mog Mob here. Triple red is a little bit outrageous, but like. Ooh, okay. Uh, hide a land. Or demon fear. I'll hide a land. This card's like maybe playable. We'll see. I want a little bit more going on down here. I don't like how heavy we are on three. That's a little too much in this deck. Bogs mob. All 
Alright, final pack. Let's see if we can give this deck... Okay, another flare. Wow, we've seen like four of these now? Okay, here's a Chrysalis. This is another ramp card that gets us moving up, along with another repurposer. Um, Drown Yard Lurker is another way we can kind of get things moving along up the chain. Uh, like, both, like, up from seven and, uh... Uh, horrific assault is 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 pretty rad. I think the chrysalis and like it's like chrysalis repurposer lurker and then things like tune to get us rolling. I want to make get the green to work because I want the uh ooh. Well, hmm. Oh, hold on. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Echoes of Eternity. There's also a Spawn Gang here, too. Damn. Uh, Spawn Gang, Rumble, uh, Meddler, Unfathomable Truths, Echoes Act 3. I'm gonna try it. Again, we're... we're, we're... I'll have to pick up some more landscapes. Wheel of Potential. Uh huh. Fangs of Colonia. Wirewood Symbiote. Um, more Devoid Creatures obviously works well with the Echoes. So. This is like. A draw X where X is however I feel like. Mm, 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 mm. Go basking. We're, we're moving more green as we can. Ooh, ooh, oh, hello. Here's something big. Okay. Annihilator. This is, uh, I'm happy to see a card with a not four toughness means like, you know, dies in combat, but like, this also. So, one of the things you have to. Okay. Gain one item for each colorless permanent you control. You might, like, read this and immediately think, like, oh, what, gain, like, one, two? Like, what? Lands are colorless. So, that, that, that's, that's how this works. We need more colorless lands. Um, Drown Yard Lurker, another Molten Gatekeeper. I feel like the Drown Yard is a little important here. Some of the unfathomable truths. Um... Blue, we're doing three colors and our fixing's kind of bad. We're going to lose a number of games to our fixing. It's okay. That's, that's just something I'm going to accept as we look here. If we can find uh, a couple... Yeah, four colors, arguably. True. Hey, Wumpus. I don't think I can pick Wumpus because I need to pick up these lands to get the deck functioning. Um, Priest of Titania. It's for each elf. We're not really making a ton of elves. Like That's fine. It's like a... a <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to take the Shrieking Drake. Um, Yeah, you, creature you control, so we can't use it with the energy for, uh, friend, but we can use it to rebuy, like, some of the... Uh... Hmm, where's this cave grabs? I mean, I'm going to take another landscape here. Royal Cartographer is incredibly good. Um... Actually, all of these are fine. I just feel like we need some of the, the, the landscapes to make this deck function. I'm sorry. This is incredible. Malevolent Rumble and Petrified Meddler. Petrifying Meddler. Um, hmm. And a landscape that's playable. Okay. 
Here's his cave. Um, I'm gonna pick the Demon Fury instead. I, that's a card I kind of want in the deck. So there were. That's an instant. It's more playable than it looks. Okay. All right. So there, there was an energy deck in here. You could see a lot of the pieces of it. Uh, but there was a point where I picked Emma Cruel that everything broke down. Uh, and all of a sudden our deck, like, fell into a hole. And so we need to work in that hole and make the deck functional. Um, like, because cause I want to be casting this sort of stuff. So let's... Let's put some things in the deck. We're not playing one Ember Mage. We're playing you. We're playing Amp Ramp. Playing the Petrifying Meddler. Unfathomable Truths is fine. Serum Visionary. Uh, we'll play the Storm Drake because it's really good. Um, invert Pol I actually don't know about Invert Polarity on the mana costs. I'm going to be right back. Think about this. So, what do our colors look like? Oh, dreadful. Oh, this is... We can't play Mog Mob on our third color. Singer the Stupor's free. Demon Furrier. The red is actually the, the bigger splash side of things. <laughs> this is this is a mess. Oh my god. Um cut out an eye. Alright, hold on. Let's we're at All of our landscapes make red. Spawn Gang's impossible, but, like, we have to work with it. Um, this... So Echoes is something I want to be casting off of, like, Spawn Gang or Chrysalis. And then when you do do that, uh, you know, we get to Double Breaker or something like that. And that ends the game. This deck is an absolute jalopy. Let's see how this works. It's always true if we blow up uh there's always another draft right around the corner let's not blow up though all right echoes in the opener um this is terrible let's do it Can I? 
Do I play this as a 3-2 flyer? Yeah, so Gilded Drake, you can't, like... Gilded Drake has, like, problems being played as, like, just a 3-3 three, three flyer. I think there's no target, no ability. Yeah, all right, cool. We don't get any energy from it, but I get a 3-2 flyer. So... Oh, well... You know... That's fine. So we draw want to draw a green source. Ah, our opponent's going, uh... Oh. That's a lot of Exalted. Did you know Exalted can stack? You know, just... Did you know? Okay. Uh-huh. More exalted. That's fine. More exalted. Just continue making exalted plays. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's fine. Everything's fine. Once I untap with Spawn Gang Commander, we actually are completely okay. You know? Just check this out. Now with Exalted, if they go to combat, we just shoot the Exalt the creature that goes to combat. And then I don't care. You know? Then it's fine. Because this is Sacked Eldrazi... Uh, Spawn Gang Commander deals two damage to target. So, like we we can we can stuff it. It's 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 okay. Hey, amp ramp. Oh no. Okay. All right. You got. You only have. Three, you actually spent a lot of your energy, so you can't do like huge lines off this. All right. That's a good flyer. So yeah, I just need to untap with this and then I'm okay. Yeah, I'll I'll take I'll take the hit. No blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and play Serum Visionary? And then leave up some activations. I could play Echoes, but that'd get me killed here, so we're not gonna do that. Hmm. Shrieking Drake is kind of good with this board. Uh, I do want some more land right now. Is a missing piece like we have action I, I just need to be able to cast things all right so yeah I can just shoot whoever attacks Uh-huh. They had one up, so I couldn't counter that with my uh, Hope Ender. We're still okay. The problem with Drake to eventually rebuy gang is the, the middle word of your sentence. <laughs> the, the eventually part of that is the problem. Like, 
You're living in a world where we're not at six life. Alright, good news, not dead. Bad news, uh, they have all the, uh, they, they still have all the Emissary Soulfire things. Uh. Oh, thank goodness. Ah. A forest. Out for that one, they got a mana up, huh? Also, this is a card in this set, too. Mm. Uh huh. All right, I'll make you pay the one. Yep. So, if they draw an artifact, they kill us. Any artifact and we're dead. Okay. That's fine. Yup. <laughs> All right. <coughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Uh-huh. All right. We just need to win before they get to... an artifact in their deck. As long as they never draw an artifact, everything's... Oh, double red. Oh, no! What does that do? <laughs> as long as a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn... I, okay, I don't care. Two plus damage. That's fine. That's irrelevant because, like, we're already dead. Wait. 
Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm reading more. Um, I'm, I'm being handed a memo about the last line of text on this card. All right. We now lose if our opponent gets any energy or any artifact. Okay, we need lands out of our opponent for the rest of the game. I see. Well, they simply will draw dead. Okay, I have bad news. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> Hold on, I still have some actions. <laughs> Okay, well... <laughs> hmm. I feel pretty good about the navigation on that game. <laughs> I... Like, maybe not the keep... But the playing what we had, and this this next mana base is, uh, hmm. This next mana base is interesting. This next mana base is, is uh, is cards? This next mana base is, uh, uh. Hmm, okay, alright. That's fine. No, I'm not going to Shrieking Drake on one for no reason. Okay. Do you have, like, a Night Changer? Oh, yeah, Malevolent and Rumble. Oh, you're... Oh, you're us, but, like, with good mana. Uh-oh. I mean... And by that, I mean you have mana. Okay. Uh, this doesn't... Fixed for our deck doesn't <laughs> our deck doesn't function our deck doesn't function our deck's fine our deck doesn't function our deck is okay our deck doesn't function <laughs> our deck's fine. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, all right. Okay, that's a lot of... Our opponent can untap and play Emmercruel next turn. This card's that powerful. <laughs> that's how that works? Whoa! <laughs> That hands off evolve before the trigger is seen. Okay. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
So they can still untap, and they have 10 mana right now. Alright, they got some... Okay, bug. Sure. That That's like... Okay, the problem is, um... The problem's over here, actually. <laughs> uh-huh. Hmm. All right, so are they gonna? Yeah, they're just gonna draw because Harold is the pump for their team, so... Okay, I've got good news. We we found them. I I I I'm I okay. What we need, we just need a game where I can slam Emma Cruel. If if I, if I can at least get the success out of this deck, I will feel good. Actually, I know the way. I'll be fine. Sure. That doesn't change the number of bodies we control, at least. Oh, that's just Eldrazi you control have ta Oh, okay. Wow. Sure. There's no other way around this, is there? Like, I can't, like, double block here and then... Yeah, okay. Good bug. That bug did a lot of work. All right. It is now time for the run up. Topher. How am I doing this? Just draw a forest? Oh, they've got shock. So there's energy shock in this set, or energy bolt. Okay. Yeah, this this is one of the this is an extremely good card. Hey, okay. All 
Alright. We are... We have the, the, the gruel token side of things. Perhaps the deck can roll that direction, and then, like, this combo is the end of the... You know... This specific combo here is the end of the game, right? Like... If we can get to Chrysalis and Spawn Gang, I think we can just outblast anything. Okay, fourth land. We still have a ton of energy out of our opponent. Fledgling Dragon is a 2 2. We can deal with that with Spawn Gang for now. I think I'm going to block the Dreadmobile here with a double block if they come in. This has a one on the sack, yeah. So now we can play the Chrysalis no matter what and still have tokens. Oh, okay. Okay. That is a... Okay. Marty landscape. And they do... Oh, do they have a splash? Or is this just like get some cards in the grave? Maybe get some cards in the grave. Well, lands at the end of the day, really. Lands are basically fake. God, the Eldrazi spawn side of our deck is nuts. Is <laughs> wild, is cool, is powerful. Oh, that grabs an off color. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna kill my spawn gang. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and. Launch it at the fledgling dragon. Okay, we are going to sack a Chrysalis here to make this a two-off lethal attack. Them having a real removal spell would be pretty bad. Do they have another Skoa? I'm fine with that. Our life total's high enough, I'm okay. What the hell?
hell does this do? Imskir Iron Eater. Affinity for artifacts. Draw X cards, lose X life, where X is the number, half the number of artifacts you control rounded down to one. Sacrifice an artifact, deal damage to any target equal to... Okay, that's fine. Okay. Oh, rounded, they get nothing. Never mind, rounded down. I, I, I just assume one is going to at least be one, but... Okay. That attack is awful. Please do it. So the reason that attack is awful is that Withering Chrysalis has 10 toughness total, and their triple block could actually threaten the kill on this thing, whereas now it doesn't. This is just a creature demon. So now... They have to block, and a double block isn't good enough. I'm so sorry. Do you, are you spending the Ember Mage to do this? Do you actually have Ember Mage's final card in hand? Yeah, all right. So we're gonna five for one, okay. The thing is, they actually could still win pretty, like, directly from this position. Because we can't play our hand out. Like, we're even fo footed, but these four cards are blank. They can hold back their charge bug to make it so Amphor Amphor can't come in. If we draw a blue, we can we get unfathomable truths and everything moves forever. Here's the problem. Okay, all right. Save us, Nightshade Dryad. <laughs> Save us. <laughs> Cursed Mirror. Eh? Copy of any creature on the battlefield until the intern is up to ask haste. Okay, so you can get an amp for after. Oh, that's bad for us. Because they can make that a copy of Amped Raptor and they have five energy for it. I hope they go for Charge Bug. That's so much less dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm, I'm not even going to bother blocking here. I don't want to lose the amp. I don't want to, like, get the... Okay, um... What's the move? Okay, all right. You know? I don't think we're getting echoes off in this game and having it matter. <laughs> this is... This is hilarious. <laughs> the Nightshade Dryad, the seat of our power. Uh-oh. Do they know?
I don't think they know. It's okay. Oh, okay, it's okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Um... Okay. Our deck rules, our mana base rules. <sighs> We're doing fine. Don't do it. I'm out! They figured it out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is just... This just draws a card. <laughs> it's a good card. It just cycles, so... Okay. Oh my god. Okay, good news. We're still fine. That's fine. Like, they're tapped out. Island on the final turn! Of course. It's fine. When else would we get Island? All right. We made it. Yeah, uh, blue is uh, actually a very important color in this deck. This is not like a, a, a deck that is... Um Red is the f the third color in this deck, actually. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, you'll see here that blue is the main color. <laughs> that was almost every mountain and forest in the deck. <laughs> so, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> we got a victory. We got like a five for one off of a chrysalis. That was a nine ten. Um, our opponent threw a goblin at, a go at it, you know, that goblin's fun, I like that goblin. Red is our third color, and we only play three mountains because red is our third color. 
I probably should have only played two mountains, to be honest with you. I think they have the counter spell, Drake. Okay, they got a Tusker, which is what I have as well, so. The reason I don't want to crack this, if I can, is to try to get to Echoes. Like, if I can avoid that, then I'll do it. Alright, they missed land four. But they have Path of Annihilation, so it doesn't matter that they missed land four. These draws are fine. All right. Our next turn is going to be great. The problem is they might have their own big problems, but we'll see. Again, they're off lands, which means they have gas, but we'll see where that leads. I can deem inferior if they go one big. Oh. <laughs> ah, my ass! Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Reaping so entwined. I can't stop that, and now we don't get to have our cool turn. Hmm. Reaping so entwined, huh? This card's uh, really, really good. Okay. It's fine. I'm not going to play It That Heralds the End here because I want to copy It That Heralds the End here. So. Okay. Reaping Zone to. Huh. Third color, and you didn't search for it with sowing with, with your Reaping so. Okay. This is a ramp that just ramps for colorless. Sure. That's fine. This card's like big. All right. Alright, so if we can get to Breaker of Creation, which we need one more mana for, I think we end the game if we can get to that. If we can copy this, I, th I believe we just win immediately. The problem is getting there. Uh, our opponent is making some pretty big maneuvers. Uh, we need to draw a untapped land, I think. And I don't have access to blue, huh? This makes them cheaper, though. So this will get there. We just need one of these it that... It that heralds the ends to not be dead at the end of the next turn. <laughs> it's fine. 
See? This costs six now. We just need to not die. Uh-huh. Putting a ton into this because in case there's a pump spell. Oh! Trample touch puts us to three. It's fine, we're gonna gain a million life. Sure. Okay, um, I want to sack this for blue. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! 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 <laughs> oh, we're back to 23! <laughs> Hexproof from color! Annihilator a million! Let's ride! <laughs> oh! Damn, that's good! That's the good shit! Uh, by the way, I'm going to Annihilator for you on your next turn. This guy doesn't do anything until he extremely does. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, yeah, Demon Fury on the token. Uh, to, like, get the most bodies out of the way. That's irrelevant. Attack me for six, please. We also could deem inferior on the reform. That might be better. Well, hmm. We're going to be annihilating four, but the token is going to be like, they can sack the token every time. So... Yeah! Eldra. <laughs> uh, we didn't even get to Annihilator 4 at him, but this is the this is this is the spirit of the Eldrazi Overdrive. Oh, Ardak doesn't do anything until it does everything. I'm looking at if I could, like, cut out the red more. Spawn Gang's too good to cut. Which is funny, it's... It's double red. Oh, 
All right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Round five. <gasps> okay. All right. Okay. Priest of Titania, go! Alright, opponent, I need you to play elves. Like, just slam the board with elves, please. Just fill it. Those aren't elves, that's a dog. How many elves are even in the set? Please play more Priests and Titanians. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a good dog. This is a... This is Watch Wolf with Vigilance, with also some other, like, text based on the 1-1 the one -one counters changing how it works. <gasps> hey, now! Hey, now! Come on! Doesn't trample, does it? No? Okay. Alright, but smoke battle wagon, you're you're up. You're you're tapping that creature for problem turns. So, six six dog, huh? This is a chump block to get an Eldrazi spawn, by the way. Sure. More dogs, okay. Spawning commander. Okay. These exact draws in this order are fine. So we should have five lands, five spawn, minus one, draw the land, and priest as a, a, fi a bug fix. We're gonna get there.
Serum Visionary is just buying us a little bit of time because the only thing that matters here is the card, the, the Emmercruel in our hand. And I'll be using this to tap creatures on the next couple turns to buy us the rest of the time. Woo! Renin 6, aka. Oh, just 6. 6 is so good, by the way. Okay. <laughs> We're so close. Yep. Play more creatures. I want you to like play a mask or something, right? We want you to like put more things on the board. Just play some stuff. I don't know. Cards. Null Drifter? Null Drifter? Null Drifter spotted. Null Drifter spotted. Null Drifter spotted. Null Drifter detected. thinking how we want to do this. No blocks. I don't want to risk them using uh, like a, a bounce target creature on my herald to like make this fail. All right, evoke null drifter. Goodbye, null drifter. No Drifter with six, by the, by the way, six just says you can re discard lands to play anything from your grave. Uh, it's not like, it's like anything, basically. It, it's, it's, it's retrace. They don't like exile or anything. It's, yeah. Anyway. All right. Pay 11. I should have crewed this. That's fine. Target a player. You. I can crew with them. cruel.
Crushing! Killing! Stealing! Now we have the power of six. Once, if we ever draw land, we can just chuck it for any of these. So, Emicruel has protection from spells and protection from permanents cast this turn. So, killing it's hard. And if it dies, we sacrifice everything we control. Like, so they're not getting their stuff back no matter what. But protection from spells, so kill spells can't target it. And protection from things that came into play this turn means that, like, you know, uh, uh, Shriek Maw can't kill it either. Okay. I'm so glad we got to cast Democruel. This card rules, by the way. This is like Impulse, but also Growth Spiral. Very good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, <laughs> also we have a thirteen thirteen of a cruel grew up to the to to be in the moon. Oh God! Okay. Thanks for the dog. I appreciate the dogs. All right, three wins. Okay, we got to cast Emma Cruel, so. Uh, that, that's win condition. That was like what we wanted was emacruel.exe. No. Yeah, this one's fine. Jack it, evercruel.exe, transmit. We actually have a really good curve here. Nightshade dry it into uh, the basking uh, brute wallow. Uh, means that we can adapt this immediately and then get the scion and have a bunch of mana. Uh, I guess I can turn the spawn gang on after that because I'll have double red from the nightshade dryad. This is a. Uh, this is what the deck wants to be doing in its best case scenarios. I'd like to draw a land or two from this position. Oh, they're keeping the Tranquil Landscape. Yeah, they must have a colorless spell. Obvious. Whenever you cast a colorless spell, make a spawn. Whenever you kill us under the battlefield. Sure. We'll have to draw land here, but I'll be fine if we don't. Hello? Okay. Well. Alright. Next turn, I'm just going to start killing the 2-2 two -two and things with Siege Gang Commander, so that's nice. Okay, fourth land. It's blue. Okay, Swamp Island Forest and a Fetch that grabs Island Forest. I mentioned it on previous stream, but I'll mention it again here. Uh... The tranquil lands have cycling to make them like nice to spot at like a at a at a at a glance what colors they are, and I think that's really smart. Sure, Marauder. I'll sack my Broodwalla here. 
Siege Gang is too important. uses area grab. Sure, that's a good play. That's a really good play. Never been able to tell what panorama stretch for. Yeah, so like these have the, the cycling, like obviously cycling gives them a little more utility late, but really it makes it so you can see what the, uh, like, what color it's supposed to be, right? Sure. I don't like that. I want to draw some... Okay, well, we're paying some life. Yeah, I mean, flavor text, but, like, you know, visible so that it, you know, ah, okay, this one's Mardu, I can tell that this one's banned. Normally, it's like, what the hell is this one? What the hell is this one? I don't know. Is that, like, what's this one? Oh, it's chess guy. Okay, you know, that sort of thing. Yo, triple colorless, plus the stamping drake. Do you have a big play for us? Are we going to get stamped out of here by you? You've got nine mana right now. So this could be a Hadouken. Yeah, that's a Hadouken. Okay, good news. So bad news, they just gained 100 life. Good news, I'm killing it on the spot because it's hexproof from color. Probably because, we, probably because protection from color reads badly. Like, if you just said protection from color... Whenever you cast Screech Spell, four, five, six, make two spawns, draw three if you cast a biggie. Okay. Hopefully their final card hand isn't a biggie. Okay, well... They can draw a card every turn, which is a bit of an annoyance. We don't have a way around that yet. Um, we have five, nine mana right now. Hmm.
Let's get attacking. We need to we need to end the game before they find a breaker. Maybe our breaker should have been the play there, but this like rafts their board, right? So they've got a m <laughs> Okay. Auto tapper in this format is quite bad, yeah. I'm... Thirteen, we're bringing them to three. Uh, target you. Target you? Yeah! <laughs> Excellent. you. <laughs> One thing I'm going to note that's very funny with this format, I'm just, I, th this is like a, a very meta level thing. You can't complete quests in it. Cast blue or cast red spells. Uh, our deck uh, doesn't actually contain those. Because, like, I mean, it does, but, like, that isn't, you know, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't. Just, it, that's a meta level thing. It's very funny to me. Arena is dumb enough. No, that's not, like, dumb, like, the card is colorless. That is not casting a red spell or a blue spell. Like, that's not, that's not dumb. That's like correct. That that that's 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 like, you know. <laughs> I need to crack this. 
We'll draw more colorless sources, but we need the red source first. Alright. Buddy. Yeah, it's like technical versus like played. Alright, well. We leave up Hope Ender or Drown Yard Lurker. Those are our two options. Okay, sweet. Um, kind of want to get bespoke down. Devoid is like a weird thing anyway, so it it shows up like because it's a characteristic defining thing. Like, so normally keywords show up at the top of a card, but like Devoid cards and Eldrazi in particular really break that because of how they like how uh, top to bottom works on them. Uh, yeah, I'll tune the narrative. What do we got? Okay. Okay, we're just playing big top end. Here you sack a non-token permanent. Weird. Okay, I mean, that's a 3-3 of menace, so, like, sure. Formal really likes three color jank Eldrazi decks. Everyone loves little Eldrazi's, you know? Everyone wants to play big old Eldrazi nonsense in a format where you got them. So, like, if they kill Herald, that'd be, like, annoying, but fine. If they kill Kawaddle, I'd be actually way better with that. Because the Herald's the actual threat here. They don't know this, but, like, this I think is incorrect. Because we can play the Lurker if I draw any land. And I have an extra draw. Um... Okay, so I don't have a... This is fine. Unfathomable Truths, perhaps, and then... Yeah, Unfathomable Truths. Are you ready for uh, an extremely cool play in the game of Magic? I hope you're ready. No! <laughs> My cool play! <laughs> I've been on. Ah. 
I've been owned. You have to trust me, it was gonna be so cool. We were gonna get to crew. We were gonna have four power to crew. But now we have zero power. I was gonna crew with the Drake while it appeared for a quarter of a second. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You have to understand, if you're thinking about color identity in the in the terms of how it works for EDH, the, the thing to, to understand about how color identity works in EDH is that the rule was specifically picked so that you could play Bosch Iron Golem as a mono red general, uh, or Reese the Exiled as a, Gol as a black green general, as a Golgari general, and that everything stems from that choice. So... If something seems weird, that's why. And then everything falls from that position. Because color identity and, like, color of a card, you can see here, aren't the same. This card is a gruel card in its, like, deck building by the rules of EDH, Commander. It's gruel, but it's, it's colorless. So... All right, what do you got? Ten step. Oh, groundyard lurker. Sure. They're trying to find a way out of this, and they have a lot of cards to do so. Yo, third color. Oh, hi. Okay, sure. Could crank this for the Siege Gang. I'm trying not to, because I like Colorless Lance. Like that, especially like for the Siege Gang, having a Colonel Stand is pretty good. Yo, you're actually. Okay, alright. I did not think you were actually energies. I mean, until. I guess when I saw the planes, I should have thought that, but. You're not playing like an energy deck, you know what I mean? If they have the energy shock, they can take out the Chrysalis. Anyway, <laughs> it's red now. That's my attack. Let's go.
That's fine. Alright, opponent finding lands, finally, maybe able to make some some aggressive lines. I really need to, I'm going to sack one of these for red on the next turn. We need to be able to get the spawn gang out to finish this up. This will That'll clean up the game more than any other play we have. Thanks to layers, it should still have. Um, good question. Uh, wow. Well, like it showed up as red here, and I, 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 I assume Arena is doing things correctly, but maybe that's an incorrect assumption to ha hold. Um. Let's go. Ahem. I'm gonna thank you for. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, Copper Popper. I appreciate it. I have to look at layers to know that one for sure. But I do recall that being a thing. Oh, so Arena just is doing it incorrectly. That's that's tragic, actually, if it's that Arena's just doing it. I don't like this being an independable an undependable rules answer. You know what I mean? So I can Siege-Yang and bounce my Siege-Yang. Yeah, I, I just have to look it up. I, 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 like... I don't remember where, like, characteristic defining things. I, I know that, like, if you lose the text on... Like, once you get into Blood Moon stuff, like, it starts getting really wacky. What are we doing? Okay. You have a pyroclasm to follow this up with? You don't have enough energy for the copy on that, right? Or no, did you? Oh, you already paid it. Okay. Sorry, I'm... Sure, that's fine. I, I, th I thought that... I, I thought that hadn't had any replicating done to it. Okay. So that's two shots. We still have the crystals. By the way, do you know flying in this format? Just like... Way worse than in a lot of formats because of how much Seeker Reach exists. But there's Reach all over the place. A lot of the Eldrazi just sort of have it. Alright. So the play here is going to be blocking with Chrysalis, blocking with a token, then sack the token. Yeah, they're all tall. That's why they have it. So, like, we're going to do this, do this. And then, sack this. <laughs> like, it's such a pain. Inferior beings. Yeah, that's fine.
Anyway. Womp. Eldrazi Town putting in so much work with this, like, really wacky mana base Eldrazi pile. What's up? All right. Five and two. I have to say this is about three or four more wins than I expected this deck to be on. We did get to cast Emicruel at the end of the day, so... You know what? This hand has Nightshade Dryad and... That's it? Uh, sorry, Nightshade Dryad and the mana to cast it. So like, I don't... I think I'm fine. The fetches let you do, so... The fetches let you do some just indescribably, like, wild splashing in this format. That's something that you kind of have to, like, like just as a way this format functions. That's such a good land spell. This thing's so strong. Hey, you know what I was talking about? Where you can just do whatever you want. Okay, just, just thought I'd mention. I'm playing the Storm Drake as a three power flyer. Get him! Alright. So, possible five color. There's blue, so that's soul tie. There's red, that's four. All right. Keep moving. Super Cyclops is here. Optic Blast. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Y you got it. Yeah. Uh huh. You gotta sack those spawn before this resolves. You might wonder why I did this in the order I did. It's because I wanted the whole Chrysalis answered all, uh, like, as much as possible here. Like, we could have done it before to, like, get rid of the reach on it. Uh, but I, I want these tokens out of here as well because we're in, like, such a wild position. Our opponent's on super greed and successful super greed. So they can do whatever. I don't want them to have mana if I can avoid it. They're probably going to just play another Chrysalis and pass. Which I think we have to, like, petrify that one. Okay. Annihilator 1. Oh, boy. I don't like that. Maybe that Hope Ender didn't want to be. No, like, Hope Ender actually could do some work here. So the Nightshade Dryad might be able to keep them off here. We'll see. 
we need to keep all of our lands available for petrifying metal area. We need to be able to, to get moving up the line here. I want that mountain because it also gives us our double red. Okay, rumble in the rumbles. That's what, four land? Four, three lands and a flesh raker. They're going to take the flesh raker. It's castable. Dread is like an everything card because it answers like all your top end stuff in a trade. And it also makes all the mana in the universe. We did cast Amber Cruel. We, we got there in one game. Stole two dogs. Okay. Falter, huh? Okay. <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> so that shuffles us, which is actually a pain. What's the triangle on that mean? That means this card has a backside. It has a land you can play it as too if you want. Alright, Annihilator means we are sacrificing the Cyclops. And we're just gonna go ahead and get this token out of the way. Hello? We need to land pretty bad. Having another Cyclops gives us the reach to maybe finish this fight. But I really want the land here because I want to be able to... Okay, they're just rumbling. Another Chrysalis. Probably their play here is the Chrysalis because they have the mana for this. Solar Transformer forgives all their colors. Uh, Dreadmask is sweet and Skull is... Skull is weird if they're f f like five color like that. But this is like the easiest uh, go and grab a uh, Chrysalis in the world. Solar Transformer is Sphere of the Suns, but, like, better. Sphere of the Suns is, like, an eminently good mana rock for years out of Cold Snap. And this is just Sphere of the Suns, but, like, way better. Like, the energy isn't attached to it. You can use it for other things. You can feed it with other energy, etc. They must have some... There's no way this is, like, a choice, right? You're just playing the Chrysalis, and you lock me out of the game almost fully. What? Fight spell? Fight spell, okay. Fight spell and gain three. Law, okay. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Might just be, this land might just be a green spell, that is true. And it's like, perhaps there's no black or white in the deck. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do that. That's an extremely good draw there. They're not going to block. Maybe we should have... Mm. So they're going to play their, their, their other copy of Chrysalis here. Because this is just the freest play in the world. Oh, this actually like pings us for a lot. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Flesh Raker kicking my ass, huh? Okay. 
Hey, Priest Titania! Hmm, I got 11 mana. That's, uh, that's fine. We just have to get to Emmercrawl. It's easy. So I need to, like, draw CJing off the top here. Okay. So Cyclops can trade with the Flesh Raker no matter what. I actually think here's how we can do this. A little awkward, but I think I want the Serum Visionary played here to get like a, a better like draw here. Because we get a card and scry too. Which could ease Ooh! Talk about cards that like fix our game for us. Is that castable? Yeah, that's castable on a land play from us, so. Okay. That, like, saves the day. As long as they don't have an overrun, I think we're okay. Alright. Just don't have an overrun. That's pretty easy. Breaker probably just trades with Chrysalis. Hmm. 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 Your own Breaker, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Because we knew they had the Ravager, and I was accounting for that with the Nightshade Dryad. Okay. Take action. Get the hell out of here. My breaker. Let's ride. So Chrysalis is what we're trading with with that, and then oh God. Oh, that's terrifying. Another? Oh, ooh. They're all 10 tens right now. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Like, our position wasn't good, it was stable. Now it's actively bad because they can just, like. Yeah. Now their threats are a 6-6, six, six, an 8-4, and, like, two 10-10s. Ten uh-huh. What are you doing? What are you casting? Another breaker? Okay, just the Ravager. Sure, alright. We can't get to Emma Cru Vault! Oh! <laughs> mm. Yeah, damn. This card, by the way, free to replace a mountain with, like, basically. The land piece of it is like, whatever, it's fine. All 
All right. So we're not dead yet. <laughs> I refuse this death. You want me dead? Work a little harder for it. Like, yeah, you still get it. The <laughs> yet is the operative word here. You're not wrong. But my little Drake gave me one turn, and you know what? I'm here with that Drake. Here with that Drake, in the grave, blown up. So yeah, uh, one of the things, like, w with that, folks have been talking a lot about this format, is just the overwhelming power that sits within Writhing Chrysalis, uh, within the, the, uh, with specifically around the Eldrazi deck as well. Because you have so many strong haymakers, it's, it's so good. Alright, that was like three or four wins. Like I said, I want to say three three or four wins more than this deck deserved. But we don't get what we deserve. We get what we play for. And we play for Echoes of Eternity, Copying Breaker, or we play Emicruel. So you know what? That's great. This deck did, did what it wanted. Can't ask for more than that. Thank you. Take all your creatures twice. Let's take another look at the the. Let's open some packs, take a look at things, and then we'll be finishing up for today. Vampire menace when it flips up. But yeah, chrysalis also is a card with secret reach. You know, okay, if you're watching on arena, you might like, especially with the giant arrow, like you might be now used to like, oh, what do you mean secret reach? There's obviously this large arrow on it that shows up. In paper, there's no arrow, you know? <laughs> on MTGO, there's, there's not an arrow. The word reach on this card is like, you gotta find it, like pull out your magnifying glass and look for it. I imagine if the, if the big bow didn't exist on Arena with cards like this or, um... No, we didn't open it, but the blue one. But... But yeah, Dreadmask, I love this card. I think this card whips. Uh, a, just a lot of the cards around the Eldrazi deck play really well on all speeds, which is what makes that deck really like fun and, and good. I actually think Refurbished Familiar is incredibly powerful. I, I, I'm i probably not like, you know, like, wow, you're going to call the card that could be a one mana two one that's a, a, a two for one powerful? Wow, how... Uh... <laughs> How bold of you. Yeah, okay, fine. You know, that's fair. I just just think about it, you know? Think 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 about flying rats. Wither Bloom as well. I like I'm not sure exactly where black fits in this format because like it, it feels like it's on the edge of all three plants. Um it wants like the, the plans are Eldrazi, which it's not really involved in the Eldrazi plan that much. Um energy which is just not involved in and then like modified uh which is like this adapt stuff there, there's a very small artifact plan too like this has affinity for artifacts but like the, the, i don't i don't know that that's deep enough to be real the the modify stuff though can get going wild we saw our opponent with the dog the dog that attacked us for six on turn three yeah Path of Annihilation's wild. This one's very funny. Trigger ability or colorless spell. Uh, yeah, decree at uncommon. Meltdown doesn't really do anything. 
So this is a reprint, uh, as you can see, from Judgment. Uh, this here is, is one of the... In, this is a invitational card that came out uh, a few years later than it, it than its, its winner um, uh, won the invitational. Uh, so a, a pretty nice tool for, like, protecting a board. Uh... Funnily enough, in modern, the deck that would want this can't use it. Uh, this, yeah, you haven't seen Shroud in a long time. This is a judgment. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, oh right, the UB draw three. That's an archetype. I think of blue black is just like control zone, which I guess that's what draw three is. But the 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 deck in modern that could that would think about playing this can't use it. Because Yogmoth has protection from humans, so you can't use this to protect your Yogmoth uh, in your combos. So, Thief of Existence. This is a pretty cool one. Uh, just on like being a, a a weird way to answer enchantments and artifacts. Uh, kind of is a, a, a thought not seer style draw. Wheel of potential. I don't feel like this is the thing that like an energy deck is after because I feel like they're using it for more. Well, maybe maybe this pays into a combo strategy. I'm sure somebody's typing it up about this card uh, having some issues with like the 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 costing. Got me seven lands. Kozilex Command. Oh, boring. Hmm. But yeah, like, based on, like, the very technical wording, the costing on the energy doesn't function the way you want it to. Or the way it should. It works actually the answer the way you would want it to. But... Uh, that's that's like minute uh like that doesn't change how the card actually plays in any way what's the thing is I've been sitting on some cowboys for a while This is like a card that feels like obviously because of the way the set works there's a lot of legends like this but uh, this is the legend that feels the most out of place in the set to me. <laughs> like, here's here's this three color legend that wants like auras on opponents' cards, uh, and all the removal in this set is like, uh, uh, is is O rings that just don't functional, like. So you. Marchessa might be the most out of place character, but at least the card is like what you would, you know, like like functions within the set. Like ah, target things draw. Love you, on. There's gold in them, dark hydras. Bonus, bonus. This one's cute as a train. This is a train not getting messed up. That's like rarity on card arts in this set. <laughs> like <laughs> train not being obliterated by a bunch of <laughs> jerks on it. <laughs> so Contagion Engine one of those from Scars Block? Yes, yeah, so this is part of one of the three different bonus sheets within the set that contains reprints. Uh, this is the not standard legal s set of them. That all of them are crimes. Is the the uh, that have these this different uh, this different uh, uh, like newspaper look. Uh, all the cards are are not uh, the, the printing of the cards does not make them standard legal. Uh, in or like on this sheet, um, like yeah, um, 
but yeah, so like this sheet has like cruel ultimatum. Uh, 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 what's the wrath on here? Black, black, six. Uh, um, overwhelming forces. Uh, like a whole lot of like silly things. Uh, it also contains old Oko. So, anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Um, yeah. Uh, assumedly next week we'll be back on a... Uh... Why does this cost gems to open? I like the idea of this so much. I don't like that it costs, like, gems to open and then is... That's, that's a... Mm. I'm getting bugbared. Bear bugged. Anyway. But yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you all for joining. Uh, if you want to catch more, you can always follow. See you on your live. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the subs. Thanks, thanks, Summer. Uh, and thank you, uh, Copper Popper. Thanks, great talk. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to catch more, uh, Tuesday, there will be some more cards going on. I'm not sure exactly what. I mean, it might also be over, and uh, we might be doing some stuff with Ty. I'm not sure yet. We're, we're still. Actually, no, I don't think we're doing stuff over on Ty's this week. I think we're just, I think it's just going to be more under Modern Horizons, too. You follow and find out. Um, Wednesday's Dragon Warrior Wednesday, and then Friday is Slay the Spire. All that normal stuff, and then all the odds and ends that fit within it. So, thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>